Today we will discuss few safety rules to work in biology laboratory which must be observed very seriously because safe working protects you your lab workers cleaners visitors and uh, it also enhances your work efficiency never uh, eat drink or smoke in a laboratory because uh, uh, eating or drinking in a laboratory can be very dangerous because lab is not that safe area to eat in so you shouldn't uh, chew any gum inside the lab and uh, you should avoid applying cosmetics and uh, makeup lunch boxes and thermoses uh, your water bottles can be stored inside your backpack or your purse these are not allowed on the lab bench or on the floor or near computers in the sink coffee cups are also not allowed in the teaching or research lab you should avoid touching your face mouth or eyes while you're working in the laboratory uh, avoid to suck pen or chew pencils because this is not a healthy habit and you should always wash your hands before you leave and especially before eating be polite while you're working in the lab you should avoid pushing shoving fighting or horse play inside the lab always you should put on the goggles uh, when you are working with different type of chemicals or hot liquid or other material that could harm you you should uh, use caution when working with organic solvents if you wear contact lenses especially of the soft type if you are in a doubt about what chemical you are working with and you are not sure about it then you should ask your instructor if you have allergy or asthma or you think you might be uh, pregnant then you should please inform your instructor always wear closed toes shoes and long pants during lab to protect your legs and feet from spills always alert your teacher to any spill on your skin or even clothing never ever taste or smell any chemical unless your teacher tells you it is safe to do so you should tie or pin your long hair and scarves and uh, different headwear to avoid contact with flames or chemicals be sure you know how to use equipment before uh, you start uh, your experiment if uh, you don't have adequate knowledge to use the equipment in the lab then you should actually consult your teacher or your instructor and you should ask about that without any hesitation children are not allowed in the laboratory uh there are too many hidden dangers uh for uh, young people and those who are um under age because uh, the environment and chemicals which are used in the laboratory are not safe for those mouth puppet puppeting or drinking of the solutions is strictly prohibited in the biology laboratory if you are dealing with uh, sharp metal pieces or uh, glassware then uh, there is a possibility uh, that the broken glassware or sharp metal pieces uh, are what you are in touch with these pieces should be placed in uh, separate boxes uh, which should be labeled with uh, either sharps or broken glasses and then you can keep these uh, boxes and you should put all that stuff in specific boxes which are properly labeled unless it is contaminated with the body fluid or microorganism because if you are working uh, with some uh, sharp metal piece or some glassware and that is contaminated with any of the body fluids or the microorganism uh, then it's rather uh, dangerous to put it in just a uh, labeled box and to discard it directly in the environment because it can actually contaminate others so it should be um, uh, sterilized Uh, and the contaminated sharps should be placed uh, in uh, that box or container which is supposed to be subjected for the sterilization process and then it can be uh, thrown off and discarded in a pro- very proper way organic fluids for example ether acetone or chloroform or any other volatile uh, liquid should be used inside a fume hood uh, it shouldn't be opened directly in the laboratory shelf 
chemical uh, waste should never be placed in a sink drain without permission uh, and you should consult your instructor in all cases uh, so that you may have adequate knowledge that where should you put this chemical waste and uh, how should it be drained and how can you actually safely discard such material media with different microorganisms uh, should be placed in a biohazard bag or labeled autoclavable beakers uh, for uh, sterilization and disposal all glassware should be rinsed after use and uh, uh, your test tubes should be placed upside down in a rack which is uh, actually specific rack provided for uh, the test cut objects on a suitable work surface always cut in a direction away from your body when you are dealing with the hot plates uh, you should keep in mind that a hot plate would look same whether it is hot or cool never touch a surface uh, of the hot plate to determine its temperature always inspect the electrical cord and outlet of a hot plate prior to plugging in don't leave the hot plates unattended when heating the chemical or solution in a test tube do not point the test tube towards anyone and you should avoid open flames in the uh, your slides and cover slips because uh, those are uh, usually glass made uh, so those sh those should be discarded with care students and instructors should know uh, the location and operation of all safety equipments uh, this includes uh, different type of fire extinguishers and eye washers uh, body showers first aid kit and uh, the nearest exit uh, from the room in case of emergency put off your lab coat before you leave the laboratory because this is not a healthy practice to put on the lab coat uh, when you are uh, coming out of the laboratory after completion of your experiment